Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and assembly video of the Keens Stroller Wagon. Now this wagon um, is a complete game changer. Again, it doubles as a stroller and wagon. It is allowed at Disneyland, even though um, Disneyland specifically states they don't allow wagons. Um, this, I'm pulling out here, the canopy that goes above the wagon to provide your children shade, the cooler bag, rear axle rear wheel number one rear wheel number two the cup holder front swivel wheel one and front swivel wheel two and then the rest of the contents inside the box is the actual Keens wagon now why I am wearing a sweater in almost 100 degree weather in Southern California I have no clue so forgive me if you see me um, wiping the sweat off my brows. Now I'm just removing the cover and the cover is attached by velcro. That plastic bag that you see back there is the rear axle. So as you can see I have it to where the axle was placed um, by one of the handles. I am going to be removing the cover and it's attached by velcro and two buckles on the bottom. Now the handlebars are adjustable. You would just need to push the two gray buttons on each side simultaneously and adjust to the height or um, angle you would like. On the top, in order to expand the wagon, you would need to unhook the buckle. And I flip the wagon upside down, that way I can install the wheels and the rear axle. So this right here is the rear axle. As you can see, that part needs to face the back. So you need to make sure that when you're putting it on, it's facing towards the handle. Um, here's the big wheel. In order to install it, there's a button in the middle that you need to push in order for it to clip onto the axle. Same thing with the other side. And then you would unhook, if it is hooked on, the uh, buckle that's in the middle. It's like a more of a safety buckle. And these are the swivel wheels. Now in order to install them, you have to push a button right there on the front, on the side. I'm sorry, it's more of a rectangular button. And then again, same thing with the other wheel. <coughs> and I'm burning hot, as you can see. <laughs> so like I said, there is a buckle on the inside, uh, underside of, of the wagon. Here is a close-up of the underside of the wagon with the buckle that I had mentioned previously. As you can see, the right buckle is attached to the frame. You would need to attach the left side as well to the frame. So the D-ring and then the webbing would just go into the D-ring, like so. And that will is pretty much the safety buckle that is underneath the wagon. So to lock it when you're using it, you would have to buckle the clasps like so and when it's not in use that buckle would need to go under the bar. So as you can see the wagon is now right side up. I am just attaching the fabric into the frame via the buckles. Now each there's a buckle on each four of the corners. The male part of the buckle is attached to the frame and the female part of the buckle is attached to the fabric. This is a storage basket in front. Underneath is a mesh portion where you can put shoes. This cooler bag that comes with the Keens, it fits perfectly within the storage basket. And this is the cup holder. I'm not going to attach it today. Um, so there you have it. I hope you like my video. I'm going to be posting more on the Keens. I have not had a chance to use it yet. Um, it pushes like a breeze though. Thanks for watching.